Hey guys, Ultra Maximus official merchandise is now available on my Spring Store. Help support the channel and shop by clicking the link below. Oh, hey look, it's Wonder Woman and Iron Man. Are you kidding? No! You just hit a strong POC female character. You're gonna get canceled. Oh. I am not some common criminal that can be distracted by your prattling. You are nothing to do. You suck. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Marvel Legends set. It's the Avengers 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest Captain Marvel vs. Doctor Doom. Now, I got this set because I wanted Doom. This is basically a reissue of the Retro Doom that we got from the kind of Secret Wars uh, style retro reissue, and then we've got photon basically of course she does become captain marvel so let's take a look at the packaging so here we have captain marvel and doom in the package it's a closed box i don't like um we got uh, the two figures some nice comic art back there the logos we got the avengers logo at the top we got the figures on the side and then we got comic version of those two figures right there so here's the logo looking cool there's the two figures again reissues of figures we've already had Pretty sure we got this photon before. Um, pretty cool looking toys on the side. Love the comics art there. Very cool. Back of the package shows the two figures and their accessories and the artwork. Doom's got a lot more accessories. I wish they gave Captain Marvel some yellow power accessories, but yeah, is what it is. And that's really about it for the package. Let's get them out of box and see what we think. So here we have Doctor Doom and Captain Marvel out of the packaging, and I love this Doom figure. It's amazing. The Captain Marvel figure, she kind of has a little bit of an issue standing on some things like this stage. Certain spots she doesn't like to stand because the stage is a little bit warped because it's cardboard. But uh, yeah, she's not quite wanting to cooperate. Let's see if this helps any. Not really, no. She just doesn't want to stand on my stage, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. So let's see if we can angle her in a way that she's going to balance proper. There we go. So yeah, I mean, she just, it's very particular to get her to stand. Uh, she's a good sculpt. I like the sculpt, especially the hair. I think it looks really, really good. She's obviously a retool of something else. She's got ports on the back of her body, but I don't know where they are from. Um, yeah, she just does not want to stand. This Doom figure, though, is phenomenal. Stands well, poses well. The colors on it are amazing. He looks like the old Secret Wars Doom, and I'm really, really digging that from the 80s. Now, uh, Doom comes with a bunch of accessories. She only comes with some alternate hands, so she got some closed-fisted hands. I wish she had some yellow power effects like we see on the box. That would have been cool. Uh, but uh, Doom's got um, some alternate stuff, so he's got some closed-fisted hands as well. I prefer the open ones that he has on currently, but it's nice to have those. And then he comes with the little hood down, and he's got his human head. Very cool. I like the sculpt on that. And then he also comes with his mask plate, which is very cool, the, the face mask, but you can't put it on the human head so I guess he can hold it but kind of an odd accessory for sure uh, maybe a Doombot head would have been really cool to come with the guy but uh, yeah articulation head is on a ball joint moves up and down and all around um, arms go out that far they spin all the way around we've got a twist at the upper arm double jointed elbow there is a twist at the wrist and a hinge joint which is nice twist at the waist we've got an ab crunch which is nice very cool. Legs kick that far forward. Don't kick back much at all. Splay outwards. Um, twist at the upper thigh. Um, this is loose, so that's cool. Double jointed knee. 
And then he's got a twist at the boot, which is nice. And he's got a hinge joint and those crazy ankle rocker pivots we love. But first, we got to take a look at Captain Marvel or Photon, whatever you want to call her. So uh, her head moves back and forth and up and down really nice. I like that. She's got a diaphragm joint right there at the top. Uh, arms go out that far. They twist all around. We've got a hinge joint at the wrist with a twist. I like the wings. Those are nice. And then her wrists also have a hinge and a twist as well. Very nice. Uh, legs kick that far forward. They don't kick back much at all. She does splay out well. Um, she's got a twist at the upper thigh. Double jointed knee. Uh, nothing at the boot. Um, and then she's got a hinge. And that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being both figures' widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. Now, taking a closer look at Dr. Doom. Love this figure. Totally worth this set just for this figure. Love the head sculpt. Love the paint. The mask looks good. The hood. The metallic green on the armor. I can't tell you how beautiful that looks. The sculpting. The silver. I haven't seen a figure this good looking with that metallic sheen since probably Death's Head 2 with the same metallic blue. Um, just this here in green. This is definitely cool. And I think I'm going to make a custom cape for this guy. Uh, even though this particular version didn't have one, I want my Doom with a cape. So yeah, I'm definitely digging this. Now here we have Doom without the helmet on. He's got the hood back. We got the normal face. I definitely like this. It looks very Dr. Doomy to me. Uh, very much like he did out of the comics. Very regal looking. Definitely cool. I like that. Uh, instead of the face mask that he can hold, I think I would have preferred a third kind of Doombot uh, head, maybe, where you could take that mask off and see it's a robot inside. That would have been pretty cool, but alas, we did not get that. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, gorgeous, gorgeous metallic armor, that metallic sheen, the black paint inside of it. The silver body armor looks really nice. The sculpt's good. I like the open hands on here. Um, you've got that little thigh belt that's kind of loose and riding high on this figure. But uh, yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous and just looks spectacular under shelving light. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, well sculpted. We've seen these legs on Doom before. Very simple. I like the kind of knightly type of plate armor on the boots. I think that looks good. The silver, everything on here looks good and it stands and poses really well. Now, taking a closer look at Photon, I mean Captain Marvel, uh, it's actually sculpted really well. I like the head sculpt. The hair, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but the hair is really, really well done, really well sculpted. The black, the white, all that looks really good. Now, she is a retool from something else that used the different pegs, probably for some kind of wings. If you know what that body's from, leave a comment down below. It's bugging me. I can't figure that out. Maybe it's one of the symbiotes. I don't know, but uh, yeah, overall, I mean, I love the head sculpt on this figure. I think they did a great job. Taking a look at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted well. It's the typical uh, Marvel Legends female body sculpt that we get. Uh, I love the wings on there. I'm not sure if we've seen those in another figure. I want to say, like, with Banshee or something. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, if you know, leave a comment down below. I don't think they're original molds, uh, but again, sculpted well. It's the typical lady parts that we see. Looks good. I have to use a figure stand with this particular figure because she just won't stand on the glass with the high heels. And finally, taking a look at her legs. Again, we've seen these sculpts before. It's the same kind of lady boots. She's got the black pants, which is nice. I like the sculpt of the boots. The problem is those heels, they are a little difficult to get to stand on certain things like will not stand on this glass turntable. I have issues on the stage in certain spots of the stage because it's kind of a soft cardboard, but it does stand well on like tables and up on the shelf. She just might need a stand. For comparison, 
Here we have the Avengers 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest Marvel Legends sets with the retro Uncanny X-Men Dark Phoenix figure. And, oh man, I have a hard time between Doom and Dark Phoenix here. I think Doom's probably my favorite of the three looking at them with the Phoenix number two. They're, oh man, they might be a tie. Um, Phoenix, definitely a lot better than the Captain Marvel figure, although it looks good. She's just not my favorite. So is the Captain Marvel vs. Doctor Doom Avengers 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest Marvel Legends set something you want in your Marvel collection? Well, to be honest, if you've already got the Secret Wars Doctor Doom retro figure, this could be an easy pass. If you don't have that figure, absolutely, yes, get it. It's worth it just for Doom. Captain Marvel, aka Photons, kind of eh, she's alright. I do like the head sculpt on her, I just don't care for the character. And this was all about Doom for me. I did not have the other figure, and this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, at the time of this recording, you can get these figure sets on sale at local Targets for $14.99, which is a heck of a deal uh, to get that Doom figure. So, yeah, definitely a cool Doom and an okay Captain Marvel. So, there they are, Captain Marvel versus Doctor Doom from The Avengers, 60 Years of Earth's Mightiest... Marvel Legends. Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, Add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.